Hey, what's going on YouTube? Michael back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to give a overview about Tasks by Planner and Microsoft Teams. Tasks by Planner is a planner app within Teams. So to add the planner, we want to target a team. So I will do this in marketing team. And let me make a new channel for this because I don't want to post it in general. Um, planner channel. Actually, we'll take a channel. And we'll add it to everyone's list. All right, so we got a new planner channel. Let's go ahead and click on the plus icon here to add a tab. And then um, if you're not seeing it, it's task by planner. It'll be this icon. And we'll post about it in the channel tab. And we'll make this marketing planner. And we'll go ahead and create a new plan. So this is good for small teams. I wouldn't say you want to use this for a large team, but smaller teams where you only have a few simple tasks um, your team has to do. This is pretty easy uh, tracking. So let's go ahead and make a new task. So let's say need to complete flyers. Set a due date. Thursday and we will assign Bob Green to it. So that's pretty much how you uh, make a new task And so we have a new task need to complete flyers We got Bob Green assigned to it if you click on it, it'll give us some more options to um, Add so if you want to add more team members, let's say we want Bob and Abby on the team Then you have a bunch of labels you can change these. So let's say flyers um, Make yellow website just like a few topics. So this will be a flyers one. Uh, to do, hasn't been started yet. You have a few options here. Uh, low, low priority for this. Uh, you can set a start date, due date, add notes, uh, make flyers green. You can add a checklist, so print flyers, color flyers. And you can even add attachments if you want to. And then um, while you're working on progressing through the task, your team can comment. So got the flyers all set. And you'll have a nice little comment section for your team to track the, the uh, task with. So this is really nice for, like I said, smaller teams. If you want to add new tasks and everything, uh, you have a few different filters. So you can actually change a few things. I'll let you play around with that. Uh, you can have a, either a list or a board view. I kind of like the list. It looks a lot cleaner to me. A board view, it can kind of get clunky if you have a, a bunch of tasks and buckets. So up here, I didn't actually go into it yet. So you have buckets. So let's say this is the uh, A team. And let's add a new bucket. So this is all like A team task right here. New bucket would be B team. And then we can add one C team. So we'll dedicate people to teams and then um, add new tasks for the different teams. So they can go in and track it. And yeah, you get all the information here. Uh, some charts on the details for tracking. I think it's just some brief stuff. It's like not started, progressly completed. And then you have a schedule. So as you can see on Thursday, we need to complete the flyers. And yeah, so... If you have a few planners across multiple teams, I will go ahead and show you how to be able to access that. So I think I do have a planner in my general in this one, so I do. So we have uh, two planners, one in marketing, one in Michael's personal team. Uh, let me go ahead and add a quick task here. So take out Trasher. It's a due date to Friday. And then let me make myself a part of this task. All right, so I'm on both those tasks. So if we want to be able to track all the planners across multiple teams for me, uh, go ahead and click on the triple dot on the left hand side. And we are looking for S by planner and to do. So let's go ahead and add this app. And there we go. We have a new uh, new screen in front of us so as you can see we need to complete flyers for the marketing team 
Okay, move a few options. So you got task, important, plan, and assign to me. Uh, so we got both my plans right here. So it'll track all your plans across multiple teams. So for me, I have the marketing planner and I have the task planner and the other team. So if you're a part of like six teams and you guys are all tracking different, um, different tasks, it'll be available here for easy access. And that's a quick little overview of uh, task by planner for teams. Like I said, it's super super helpful for uh, task tracking for um, like small smaller teams and medium teams. You have like a hundred people on a team and everyone's got different tasks. It could get really cluttered, so I wouldn't recommend it. I'd recommend using something maybe like GitLab or um, yeah, something like that, or make a SharePoint list. But that's it for the video for today. So I guys hope you enjoyed it and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be making more videos. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next one.